Hello and welcome to my channel, The Danish Readaholic. Today we're doing my TBR game. Before we get into that, I just quickly want to look at how my reading for December went and I reached my goal, guys. I read 16 books in December and I don't know how I did it. So let me show you the pile because it looks very different from the pile that I showed you in my last TBR. Still a big heavy pile. Here we go. Ah, heavy. I did make some changes um, to some of the prompts that I have picked and I'm just going to show you the books from the game from last month and then move on to this game. The rest of them I'm going to talk about in my wrap up. So, so simple. So I had Brave, which was to read a book with a character holding something. Originally, originally I had picked From Blood and Ash, but I ended up changing it to Monstrous or the second volume in Monstrous because we have, oh, I don't remember her name now. I have just read it, but she's holding a cat. I felt like that was kind of fitting because I was gonna read it anyways. And From Blood and Ash was quite long, especially when I had to read 16 books. Then I had read the next book in a series and I had picked Bone Criers, but since I didn't get to finish Illusionari in November and then also have to do a punishment for that, I just decided to pick Illusionari as my sequel. Um, simply because I read it in like the first couple of days of December, so I had already fulfilled the prompt, so I felt like I might as well do that in order to not get a punishment. So, and finally I had <laughs> Big Hero 6, which was to read a book with a number in the title. Originally I had picked Six Crimson Cranes, but again I thought it was a little bit of a chunker. So instead I went with The Hundred, which was actually a reread for me. I have read this some time ago and I wanted to get back into the series and finish it because I never did. Then I also had to read Three Dark Crowns by Kendara Blake and I did, so no punishment there. Then I was also supposed to read Son of the Storm and I didn't, so there is a punishment here. That all means that I'm gonna move two steps back on the board because one, I didn't finish Illusionary in November and two, I didn't finish Son of the Storm. So. I think without further ado, we should just get started. Well, first I have to move two steps back. Let's start off with doing that. And then we get started. Two, that was kind of pointless. It is to read a book with illustrations. So the first role got me Princess and the Frog, which was to read a book um, with illustrations in it. I don't know why I even made that prompt because I don't have that many books with illustrations in it, but I decided to go for the next book in the Rousselil series, even though I was kind of determined not to read these right now, but gonna do it anyways. It's short, so I should be able to go through it quickly. But then again, I also said that about the last one and it took me about a month. So um, hopefully I can do that, but we do have illustrations in it and they're absolutely stunning. So I am gonna go for this one and hopefully just get it kind of out of the way here today maybe maybe tomorrow who, who knows so that was the first book next roll a one. Ooh, it's a free pick okay i'm gonna go through everything so i ended up picking Spy Squad, which is to read a book that you meant to read last year. Then I got a free pick and there was kind of like a meaning behind the free pick. I picked Spy Squad, let me see if you can see it, um, which is to read a book you meant to read last year. I'm currently reading a book and I thought that it would be fitting to pick that, which is Bone Cryer's Dawn. I was supposed to read this as my 16th book, but the last couple of days up until the like New Year's, 
um, have been rather hectic and I had to make dessert for New Year's and I had to go visit my parents. There was a bunch of stuff that I had to do and then I was just kind of tired and not feeling well because I'd also just gotten vaccinated. So I just wasn't in the mood for reading so I felt like instead of stressing myself out I just ended up picking another book as the 16th book. I am a little under halfway so I think again I will be able to finish this rather quickly and actually finish a series for once. For this prompt I am gonna read Bone Cryer's Dawn and I am gonna finish it now. Next roll. A six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another Disney card. Okay. Pocahontas. Read a book by a POC author. Next up, I got Pocahontas, which is to read a book by a POC author. I am pretty sure that this author is POC. If she isn't, please let me know and I will pick something else, but I am pretty sure that she is. So I'm going to read A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir. I am finally going to continue this series and I am honestly so excited. I don't think I will be rereading uh, An Ember in the Ashes because I do think that I can remember like decently what happened. Um, so I think I'm just going to move on with the second book and yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> so hopefully I like it. And hopefully she is POC like I think she is. Next roll. <laughs> three. One, two, three. This is just the round of Disney, I guess. Let's see what we get. Oh, God. We got Frozen, which is to read a popular or hyped book. Then I got Frozen, which is to read a popular or hyped book. And this might be a bit of a stretch. But, as you will see eventually, one of my big reading goals this year, which was also a reading goal last year, but I'm probably going to take it a bit more serious this time, is to continue with the series where I already like own multiple copies and I own the entire thing of this series. So, I'm gonna read <laughs> Reaper at the Gates by Saba Tahir, which is the third book. Um, I'm not sure this book in itself is super hyped, but I know that An Ember in the Ashes was really hyped at some point. I'm not sure it still is, but so I'm gonna count it, even though some might say it's a little bit of cheating. I had also kind of wanted to pick The Cruel Prince, but that would mean starting a brand new series where I don't own the second or the third book. So I felt like it would be better to pick something where I do have like the rest of the series so that I can finish it. So I'm gonna go for Reaper at the Gates for a popular hyped book. Next roll. A two. That is a free pick but from the Barbie pile since I landed on Magic of Pegasus. So a free pick from Barbie. I'm gonna go for Rock and Royals, which is an A to set letter generator with the author first name. And finally, we had a free pick within the Barbie cards, and I picked Rock and Royals, which is an A to set letter generator but with the author first name. I thought that would be fun to kind of do like a challenge thing because I haven't done that yet, and I have, I think I have three different challenges, which is kind of like the same. I. I'm gonna screen record my phone so that you guys can see. Oh, I'm kind of nervous and I don't know why. I really want either an S or an N. I will get into why, but I am not sure I'm gonna be that lucky. So obviously, there, or, well, not obviously because I haven't checked, but there might be some where I don't have a book by that like letter but I guess we'll figure it out. Okay, let's let's just do it. T. That was not what I wanted. T? I didn't know. I didn't want that. Trisha. Trisha Levenseller. Fuck that, yes. Cool, okay. I didn't get the letters that I wanted. I really wanted N to get Romanoff on here and not have to have, a, have like a 16th book, but then again, Romanoff is rather short, so I, so I guess it's fine. 
I also really wanted S so that I could read Caraval or yeah, Caraval. Or maybe add like the fourth book in An Ember in the Ashes. But I wasn't that lucky. I got a T, which at first I was like, no, because all I got to do was like turn my head and then I saw a book with a T and I was like, no, I'm not gonna read that this month. I am not in the mood for that. And then I kind of panicked after that because if I didn't have anything else, then I guess I would have to. I kind of didn't even check anything or everything because I just, when I realized that I could read The Lane of Secrets by Trisha Levenseller, I was kind of like, okay, nothing else matters because it is a shorter book and it's also a book that I'm kind of really intrigued by because I do believe that we follow like a female bladesmith kind of person or at least someone who likes that trade. And I'm so intrigued. I am so intrigued by this. So my fifth book on my TBR and my A to Z letter generator was Blade of Secrets by Trisha Levenseller. And finally, this is just on my TBR from my reading the first line. So this will not have a punishment if I don't read it. So therefore it's probably also my lowest priority. But if I know myself, I think this might be one of the first ones that I read, which doesn't make any sense. But we also have Romanoff by Nadine Brandes, and I'm kind of excited. Also, it is rather short. Hopefully, we can manage. I feel like, uh, and I say this every time and I always fail, but I do feel like the pile is decent because I'm halfway or a little under halfway through Bone Criers, and then I have um, one really short book and two like medium to short size books and then I have two big ones So let me show you the pile. Here we go And I feel like considering I'm halfway under halfway through bone criers I don't think that this is a ridiculous stack, but <laughs> I might be wrong. I guess we'll see by the end of the month, won't we? Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment telling me what you will be reading in January and also let me know how was your New Year's. If you like this video, please hit the like icon and if you want to see more of my bookish content, then please hit subscribe. Also, if you want to be notified every single time that I post, you can hit the little bell icon. It would just mean the world to me. And until I see you next time, bye!